Hebrews 6, 8, their good condition. Regarding their condition, they had drunk in all this rain and it was producing herbs and meat for them. It was bringing forth the blessings of God and fruit. How do we know that this is the case? Verse 10 tells us, For God is not unrighteous to forget your work in labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So they are bearing fruit. Regarding that which bears thorns, it means you are not going to bear fruit if you go back. Bearing thorns and briars is rejected. That is the same kind of thing he said to the Galatians. In Galatians 5.15, he said, If ye bite and devour one another, beware lest ye be consumed of another. In Galatians, by losing sight of Christ, losing the gospel as their source, they were losing the flow of the Spirit, and that meant the fruit would die out. Because they were not abiding in Christ, they were going to resort to the flesh and eventually be biting and devouring, being jealous and provoking one another to envy. Eventually, all the other works of the flesh would manifest, Galatians 5, 16 through 20, the evil, adultery, fornication, witchcraft, heresies, all that comes out. It is latent in our flesh. All we have to do is get it away from the gospel, neglect it, become sluggish, and forget how great of a salvation we have. Once you were in that realm, you get attracted to some earthly religion, whether it is people-pleasing, charismatic church, or going back to Jerusalem. It doesn't really matter when you get your eyes off of Christ and back onto people and performance, then the fruit of the Spirit is gone. Now the briars, thorns, and thistles come out. He says you are going to be nigh unto cursing if that is the way it is. To reiterate, he is saying, look, you are in danger of getting yourself back into the flesh, losing all your fruit bearing and getting into a bad spot. But beloved, we are persuaded of better things of you. Even though we are using strong language, we are persuaded of things that accompany salvation. You can be secure. You have an anchor for yourself, which is within the presence of the veil. Verse 11. 